Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. Welcome to Word for Absolute Beginners Part 3. You'll have noticed in the introduction slides that the golden rule of all computing is select then do. Never more important than in Microsoft Word when you're selecting text because you want to do something with that text. Let's look at the most efficient selection techniques in Microsoft Word. First of all, to select a single word, simply double click in the word. For example, if you wanted to uh, change this word second, simply double click on it and over type the word that you wanted to appear there. Uh, I'll type the word third even though it is still the second paragraph just for uh, demonstration purposes. What I'll do, Control Z will undo that last action. If you want to select more than one word, place the insertion point at the start of the first word, hold down the shift key and click after the last word. For example, if I wanted to, ch to delete or change these words, what I would do would be to click there, hold down my shift key and click there. And that selects more than one word. We'll click away to deselect. To select a sentence, there is a very, very good technique, which uh, uh, is a better technique than almost any others that I know, that is to hold down the control key and click in the middle of the sentence. So I'll hold down the control key and I'll click in the middle of that sentence. And what Word does, it selects all of the words in the sentence up to just after the full stop and from the very first word. The advantages are two. First of all, it does not select spaces either side of the word, uh, of, the, of the sentence. And secondly, if the sentence continues on to the next page, it's uh, much easier to select in that way rather than having to scroll onto the next page where you can easily lose control of the mouse. So remember, select a sentence by holding down the control key and click in the middle of the sentence. To select a paragraph, simply triple click in the paragraph. Remember again, the paragraphs are created when you press the enter key. So if I triple click on this particular paragraph, one, two, three, it selects that paragraph. To select more than one paragraph, triple click in the first paragraph as I did, hold down shift and click in another paragraph. And keep clicking until you have selected all of the paragraphs that you wish to, remembering to hold down the shift key. We'll click away to deselect our selection. Remember that practice makes perfect, so practice those techniques and you'll find that they become uh, second nature after a short space of time. The right mouse button. One of the most overlooked features by people who are new to uh, programs, uh, Word, Excel, etc., is the use of the right mouse button. The right mouse button only does one thing, and that is it gives you a menu to choose from depending on where you're pointing on the screen. So if I right click here in a blank area of the page, I achieve a uh, menu, in this case it was edit header. If I right click down here, uh, there is a menu for me to choose from. If I right click up here, there's a menu for me to choose from. And the menus are appropriate to where I have clicked. In other words, the menus are context sensitive. Click away to remove the menu. Everything else after you achieve the menu is left mouse click. So for example, we're going to now look at cut, copy and paste. First of all, I'm going to select this first paragraph. I want to make it the second paragraph. In other words, I want to put it down here under the cats and dogs. So I'm going to triple click in the paragraph. That selects it all. Now I'm going to right click on that particular selection and I'm going to click cut. 
what happens is that the text disappears and it is placed on an invisible area called the clipboard. In a future upload I'll show you how to see the contents of the clipboard but at this uh, stage we don't need to. So what I'm going to do, I want the paragraph to appear down here so I click, double click where I want the paragraph to appear and I right click and I click paste. So now I have very quickly moved the first paragraph to the become the second paragraph. Let's say I want to repeat a paragraph. I'm going to triple click in this particular paragraph and again I'm going to right click and this time I'm going to copy which leaves the text on the screen but allows me to click where I want the uh, text to be copied to. I will right click there and I'll click paste again and there you'll see that copying copies the selection as opposed to cutting which removes the selection. Nice and easy. Remember practice makes perfect. Now I'm going to control Z or control Z if you like to remove my last action. So nice and easy. Many people when they are typing a new paragraph or a word they'll find that the capital letter appears by default it's a default setting in Word for the start of the sentence. So what I'm going to do here is click I also have a bird called Tom. Now Tom strictly speaking should have a capital T. So what I'm going to do is to double click on the word to select it and over type it this time not by holding down the caps lock key or pressing the caps lock key as many people do but to type a capital letter in the middle of a sentence or paragraph you hold down the shift key type the letter release the shift key and then finish the uh, word itself. So there's some uh, uh, techniques for you to practice cutting, copying, pasting, selecting, typing capital letters and using the right mouse button. And again I say practice makes perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we can also use likes and comments on our uploads. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.